Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect an Xbox Series controller to an iPhone or iPad. Uh, I'm gonna be demonstrating the steps on an iPad because the steps are pretty much the exact same thing on an iPhone. So, uh, if you wanna see the written instructions on how to get this done, you can find a link to my website in the video description. Now, before I begin, just one thing of note. So this will work with the iPhone or iPad just fine. That's not a concern. But when it comes to the app you're trying to use it with, let's say you're using it on a game on your iPhone or iPad, whether or not the controller will work with it is dependent on if the developer made it compatible with the controller itself. So your experience may vary, just keep that in mind. So with that said, let's continue on. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the controller set up into pairing mode. So to do that, while the controller's off, just press and hold the Xbox button on the controller. And if you have an Xbox console, it'll turn it on just like it did for me, it's kind of behind me, um, that's fine. To turn off the console, you wanna walk over to your console and press and hold the Xbox logo button the power light will flash a couple times and eventually it will shut down. Uh, back on the controller, while it's still powered on, you wanna press and hold the connect button at the top of the controller for about three seconds. And when the power light on the controller starts to flash, that's when you know the controller is in pairing mode. Now you wanna walk over to your iPhone or iPad and get it set up on that end. Okay, so again, I'm demonstrating this on an iPad, but the steps are relatively the same on an iPhone. So you're gonna open the main system settings menu. Then hop on over to the Bluetooth option. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on, of course. And as you can see at the bottom for other devices is Xbox wireless controller. Tap on it, select pair, and you're done. It is now connected to your Apple device. But in case you are curious about customizing the controller settings, if you go back to your system settings menu, then go over to the general section. And from here, you wanna to go to game controller. Here, you wanna tap on the Xbox controller itself. And then you have the ability to kind of modify it and change basically the uh, button mapping itself. Now I went back to the home screen and um, from here I'm actually using the joystick and D-pad to navigate and highlight the available apps. That's my quick way of testing that, yep, everything's working just fine and dandy. See, super simple. Now if you wanna connect this back to your Xbox console if you do have one, it's even easier than that. All you need to do is double tap the sync button at the top of the controller really quickly and then the controller will automatically pair back to your console while the console is on, of course. And that's pretty much a wrap. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my social links and website link in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.